Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this beautiful and amazing Thursday. I hope that you are having fun, that you are working or studying or just being at home, relaxing, chilling, whatever you do on a Thursday. I hope that you are giving it your all. Uh, guys, I want to welcome every single one of you. If you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop, where I spill the tea every single day. No matter where I am and no matter what I'm doing, I got you, girl. If you want to know what is going on with the pop culture streets, with the Bravoverse, with the reality TV shows, I got you. So you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell because you do not want to miss every single thing that is happening every single day. All right, guys, it is time to go down into the pop culture streets and let's talk a little bit about Miss Jennifer Lopez okay I'm Ben Affleck of course as you know the couple is finally getting divorced yes they finally getting divorced they finally did it they finally pulled the plug well actually Jennifer pulled the plug you know and now we're gonna start getting you know little by little what is gonna be happening here now even though this divorce is supposed to be, or is said that it's going to be amicable, you know, that they really are trying to not go after each other assets or anything, even though there were like, like rumors that Jennifer wanted to go after Ben Affleck's money, I don't think it's really going to happen, you know, and uh, most of the people are saying that it's just, you know, like they're really going to try to move and do this as fast as possible, especially, you know, if the huge mansion gets sold, be sold because that's a big point, you know, they have this huge $60 million asset right there that it needed to be sold in order to be able to split it. Um, you know, they really want to, they really are trying to like keep everything nice and easy, you know, and not having like uh, many issues, you know, uh, ben, uh, both of them, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez really want to like avoid the media frenzy, you know, they really want to try to avoid the whole craziness. And, you know, I think both of them know that the most problems they put out there, the more complicated it's going to be. Now, there is a new piece of tea going around because now they just put the judge that is, that is going to be, you know, um, taking care of the whole divorce and all of that. And apparently there was a little bit of, of worries around the topic because this judge, this judge, what, what is the thing? The judge son-in-law is very close with both Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. And they were being worried that this will actually cloud the judgment of the judge when it comes to the divorce or that it will like you know benefit one more than the other you know and now they're really trying to like see how this is gonna work you know they were like investigating they were asking questions you know like and i mean girl let's be honest here for a second let's be honest here okay this is jennifer lopez i think like four divorce this is Ben Affleck's second divorce. I think they already know like every single like divorce lawyer, divorce judge, divorce, I don't know, security guard, divorce, like whatever, you know. I think they, they know them all by now, okay? So like, I think they, they just walk in and they're like, hey, Mr. Ben, hey, Miss Jennifer. Oh, another divorce? Yes, girl. I mean, it's going to be very complicated. I mean, and also, there are no, like, really criminal charges. There are no, like, lawsuits. There is nothing else. And if they really don't want to go after each other's money and they're going to keep everything, like, nice, then who cares, right? Also, I think it will be even worse if the judge himself was the one really like connected directly or if he was like oh you know what like ben is my boy or like jen is my girl you know that that will be a little bit different but to really but if to say that his son-in-law is the one connected to them it's kind of like 
it's kind of like a reach to be honest you know but you know how people are especially you know when it comes to the fandoms they really want to protect their favorites but there is no news here of or, or of anyone wanting to go after the other one you know uh, or wanted to like take their money or take their properties you know or like i'm gonna leave you on the streets you know so to me it's kind of like um it shouldn't be this hard you know actually accept the judge move forward with it because like just sign whatever you have to sign and then be over with it right the more you wait the worse is gonna be but i think now the main i read the other day that one of the main problems that they were having was was that huge as i mentioned you know because they spent 60 million i think 60 million dollars on that piece of like thing and now no one wants to, to buy that i I'm, I'm sorry it's 2024 who who has 60 million dollars like around to just buy like this this mansion it doesn't make any sense um it's being said that it, there is a big ch uh, chance that they're actually gonna end up losing a lot of money i think they're actually already losing money because with the, the uh, they not only bought the house but they they change everything inside so it was supposed to be around 70 million dollars and then they have to drop it to 60 million dollars to sell it but people are saying i don't know like people are not gonna have that kind of money to buy the house from you you know and um I wouldn't be surprised if they if it, if it drops to like the 50s or even the 40s millions, you know, that would be a big loss of money right there. But to be honest with you, like, who are you going to blame? Both of them, like they spent like, I don't know, like two years or something like that. They spent like a bunch of time looking for that, that huge mansion. And there's nothing else that you can do right now. I don't know. Anyways, the whole point is, yes, the judge, I don't think that is a big problem. I think they should just move forward with it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, guys. So before we go, it is time to give a, ch a shout out to the partners of our video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. Mm, they smell so good. Okay, this is, these are real flowers who had a treatment with the special oils and they last up to a year. So the real flowers that last up to a year, girl, okay? They look amazing. This is just one of the bouquets, but they have many, many shapes, of colors, like whatever you need, you know. These are the perfect way to say, I love you, I miss you, get well soon, happy birthday, happy anniversary, girl, you know? So if you wanna get your flowers with a very special discount, go to the link on the description below, okay? You don't have to put any codes anymore like before you just click the my link and you will get 20 percent off your order okay so go check it out buy your flowers and yeah and don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you all around see ya bye